With space age technology influencing every aspect of our life, sometimes it feels like we're already living in the future. And farming is being transformed too, with talks of smart tractors, precision agriculture, and even swarms of mini robots in the field. I've come to Chagas Oak Park to meet crop researcher Dermot Forrestal. People are using the term smart for everything these days, but in terms of tractors, it's usually talked about tractors that have more control on them. So we're using positioning signals, which are satellite based. So we have tractors that are actually getting GPS signals and using those to good effect. So it's basically a tractor is talking to space to find out how to get yeah. around their fields better. Yeah. Satellite technology allows farmers to manage their fields in an extremely precise way using global positioning systems that are much more accurate than the sat-nav devices we use in our cars and mobile phones. In Oak Park, Chagas are conducting GPS field trials to measure and sow thousands of parallel plots with two centimetre accuracy. What we have then in the tractor is basically a computer screen there. We have software that's laying out the field in a certain pattern that we want to lay it out in. We decide we're working with an implement that's maybe three metres wide or 20 metres wide. We input that in there. It then creates parallel lines on, on the map that are exactly 20 metres wide, OK? And then after that, when we go into automated control, if we line up with one of those lines roughly, we press a button, then the tractor steering system is controlled by the computer until it guides it to within two centimetres of that line. To test the smart technology for myself, Dermot bravely allows me to step behind the wheel of this satellite controlled tractor. Finally, Dermot, I get behind the wheel of a tractor. I've been waiting for this. You get to drive. My whole life. OK, this is a conventional tractor with an auto sear system actually added to it. Yeah. And the main component actually is the screen that you see there at the background. Right. This is really what's driving us there. So to actually move the tractor forward, in this case, we just move that lever uh, forward if you want to do that. Slowly let your foot off the clutch. This is like your first driving lesson, Katrina. Yeah, I know. Getting flashbacks. Excellent, Whoa. that's it. Yeah, just Sorry. let it go. All the way. Hold on, handbrakes. Uh, yeah. OK, so we're now moving. OK, so you're in normal control here. You can steer it. Yeah, okay. I can. They're quite safe, there's nobody here near us. And at the moment, there's a satellite in space tracking us. It's tracking I us. I just can't believe if it. If you look to your right there, you'll see the map moving as yeah, we're turning yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. At the moment, we're plugged in there and we're quite close to that. You can see that red line there on the also screen. Also, the orange arrow. Yes, right. You're, I'm you're, you can see you're off a bit. Yeah. Okay, so if you take your hands off the wheel for a second. Are you right? sure? And yes, just press the button there at the bottom. Press, that's it. Now, leave your hands to go. And now, it's decided Katrina has made a mess of this. I need to get back in the right wow, line. Wow, that is so cool. Okay. Slash weird. If you actually touch the steering wheel, it will it will actually let you control again. Okay. But what are farmers going to do? Just like read a book? No. If you, if you, <laughs> if you think about it today, there's a huge amount for them to monitor. Yeah. Okay, because there's more and more information. Screens like that that you see at the side here, often the implements that we use are giving us information in terms of the seed rates the application rate of fertilizer. So there's an awful lot of information coming back into the cab. So genuinely what happens here is that the farmer can spend more time monitoring that. What's gonna happen now at the end of this line? Well, if you don't change, it's going to drive straight through the fence because it doesn't know that the fence is there. So okay, I Okay, well think, I'll intervene then, shall I? I think you need to intervene at this point. <laughs> Of course, ultimately, it's all about helping farmers to use and apply satellite technology. Kevin Nolan is a dedicated advocate of those higher powers. So, Kevin, you have a fairly amazing looking machine there. How does it work? It's a very big machine, but it's a very busy machine. It's combine and it's uh, steered from satellites up there. So at any one time, there could be 20, 24 satellites helping to steer the combine and it'll go up and down the field all day long, and then it'll turn at the end each time. And not only that, it'll control its forward speed. If it thinks it can take in more crop, it'll go faster, and if it thinks the crop's too heavy, it'll slow down. So I'm just there monitoring, and it's doing everything. And so. what about like people who are watching, kind of going, what about the art of plowing? What about being able to like set it yourself and doing it right? Yeah, I mean, farm life, it's an enjoyable life, but it's a tough life, given the hours and the conditions that work in. Like, overall, I think it'll be a benefit for anyone that's involved in agriculture. And I suppose, I think technology brings fun into farming. And that's the way I've always looked at it. 
our tractors have got very big. Typically today, tractors that we see in our fields may be from four tons weight up to 10 tons weight, huge weight, and that puts a tremendous load on the soil. The reason they've got big is for labor efficiency. You want one man to do more work, so he's on a bigger tractor. If you take the man off the tractor, if by making autonomous tractors, then your labor efficiency need for bigger tractors is gone. So there is the scope maybe to come back down to smaller tractors or bring it to the extreme. We could have small mini robots that weigh 50 kilos. So instead of bringing out a tractor to do work in this field, we bring out a trailer that's housing 20 or 30 small little robots. It's a long way off, but there are commercial companies actually interested in, in doing that and developing Wouldn't that. it be great to have a crystal ball and see what agriculture is going to look like in 100 years time? I'd say it'll be unrecognizable. It may be. We would be managing it with the same basic principles that are there, but certainly what we see actually working in the field might be quite different.